YouTube. Drama D here doing my weekly update video. It's not going to be much different than what you're used to seeing. I mean, nothing's really changed. But let's just go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, you can hit that like button. Please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber yet and you like the videos I'm putting out, go ahead and hit that sub button. Let's just get into it. So the new tank stand um, frag tank there's gonna be a lagoon tank on top the stand is actually turned around the wrong way it will be turned the other way around with the step in the back um, I ended up sanding it down I added I added uh, side panels on either side it's a one piece uh, half inch plywood so if you were following the stand build, I actually uh, shortened it by one inch because of material issues. And uh, anyways, I only had enough plywood to make 35 inches wide, two pieces. So I shorted everything by an inch. Um, it was supposed to be 36 inches, but by adding the additional half inch side panels on either side, I got that inch back, so now it is 36 inches long. The reason why I did that was to stiffen up this upper section, which was Craig jigged into the lower section. I just didn't feel like it was that single piece of plywood in an earthquake or something was going to have the structural strength that I wanted. So I added another piece of uh, plywood on the side, as well as some triangles underneath here in the corners on the top it's just going to help prevent it from racking but um i have not installed the triangles yet they were cut i still need to glue them in i might not even use them to be honest so on the stand i went ahead and sanded it put some wood putty in filled all the holes it just needs to be painted it's ready to go um, as far as the frag tank i picked up the inch and a half and the one inch uh, drain lines for, for the frag tank unfortunately they are too big I should have just listened and got the uh, X aqua drain kit it's supposed to be a lot easier I measured the drain lines with the caliper and it said inch and a half and one inch and it ends up they're like 0 0.0675 inches too big so the actual sizes that I need are I need for the return inside diameter I'll just go ahead and put it right here so if you need hoses flex line for the drain and return for the X aqua in out overflow box this is the size that you will need so I'm gonna go to the hardware store sometime in the next week try to find these sizes and if not I'm gonna have to order from BRS or Marine Depot or somewhere and I believe the the return hose and drain kit is about fifty dollars which to me is just ridiculous you know what I mean I only need like three feet not even three feet and to pay fifty bucks is ridiculous so let's move on over here I wanted to do a quick unboxing because I have not opened this yet since receiving it before I get into that I have two of these and these are going to be the lights for the frag tank still not sure if I'm going to need one or two more I debated putting these on with maybe a, a what do you call it a AI a prime HD in the middle you know it's only going to be softies and LPS I don't think I need that much light but these are supposed to be uh, reef right killers. Before I unbox that, let me uh, clean this lens off and we'll check out the tank real quick. So this is the reefing art kit. I got it because it comes with this fancy little case. Two additional lenses. Currently I have the orange 15K, the yellow 20K, and the anti-glare lens on the clip. It has a little bit wider uh, port for the people with phones that have uh, different areas where the camera is it's a lot bigger 
area than the coral view lens. Now I do have the coral view lens as well and I am going to be getting the upgrade lens kit for that. Looks like they came out with some new stuff. But this also comes with the 50-50 lens, the 15K, or the 20K, excuse me, and then the 50-50, uh, 15K, orange and clear, and then it also has the macro lens. But cool little case. Talked about it before. So moving on to the tank. Uh, I believe tomorrow I'm going to be going down and just picking up a couple more Zoas. Uh, there's been some issues with the tank. Let's see if I get this lens cover on. Can't see. It's too dark. Anyways, hopefully we can check things out with their colors. But um, so things weren't looking so hot. I did a water change. Um, I had some issues with the A cans. I've given them several dips. Half of the A cans have recovered or seem to be recovering the inferno a can is growing back i thought it was almost dead but it's bouncing back um three of the other ones are not doing so hot at all uh the jawbreaker mushroom was constantly being uh, nibbled at the base for detritus by the hermits it finally broke loose and was floating around the tank and i found it I glued it in an old hermit shell and placed it right back there and it's gotten knocked over ever since. Uh, the fungia plate, I had it dead center in the middle here and it just wasn't extending. Figured maybe it was getting too much light, too much flow. So I moved it over here and it has started to change to a rainbow color and it's looking like it's having more tissue as you recall this used to be red with the gold rim now I'm seeing red orange purple it's still not looking too hot but it has improved since moving it out of direct light um, I moved the, the mint chip blasto out here to the front and it's really really uh, bright I moved the, the torch over here because the jawbreaker was underneath it and one of the tentacles was stuck to the jawbreaker. It used to be back there. Uh, the green torch, endo torch, green tip endo torch, it was back here where the GSP is. And I moved it from there just because it wasn't opening as much and something was going on with it. So I did a water change, change out some pads. Uh, I checked my parameters and I was dosing 5 mils a day which isn't nothing and I noticed my ALK got up to like 9.5 so I reduced my dosing to like 2.5 mils a day and I checked my I didn't check my ALK for 2 weeks and I noticed my ALK dropped down to 7.5 so typically I run at 8.3 to 8.5 um, so I went up to 9.5 and then back down to 7.5 Which is why I believe I've been having some Issues with the corals like the torches the fungia plate Possibly the a cans um, I Like to maybe say the torch in the back is a good indicator coral maybe the fungia plate I know the old fungia plate I had in there. It was massive bigger than my hand always did well no matter what I threw at it but anyways all the Zoas are doing great um, I do uh, continue to dose uh, the refresh and waste away once a week so I'll do the refresh I think uh, last week I did it on a Tuesday and then two days later I'll do a dose of the waste away and the reasoning behind that is the waste away is a different type of bacteria than the refresh and I believe the waste away kind of needs that nurturifying bacteria from the refresh you know so that way it's not eating the beneficial stuff in the actual tank that it has accumulated if I'm wrong you know I'm wrong but to me I believe that it works best 
when you use them within two days of each other it gives it something to feed off of helps keep the gunk off the rock and as you can see all my rock is clean there is no algae it is looking great fantastic coralline is starting to ramp back up so I believe that's another reason why uh, my alkalinity was dropping was that basically the coralline growth you know a couple of the newer corals none of this stuff really eats up alkalinity or calcium too much but I believe the coralline algae sucks that shit up it's kind of why I hate coralline algae remember when I first started I used to love it but kind of hate it now but I had a uh, what do you call it? The Digitata and the uh, Iron Man. They have their ups and downs. I still don't think the tank wants to have SPS in there at all. I think the outswing has kind of pissed them off. One other thing I did was I, after I moved everything around, I decided to increase the intensity by 5% on the not the color but on the, the UV spectrum as well as the violet I'm not wait up the intensity and the UV and violet yeah so what I've noticed since then is those big ass those in the back I believe those are uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I want to say can't even think right now infusions maybe and I don't know those have really opened up and have started getting big um, these guys still haven't seemed to be growing I moved the Krakatoas over and they seem to be a fattened up like in a little bit more light they were a little bit over here kind of shifted them over but uh Nothing's really going on with the tank. I'm going to do a water change and parameter test tomorrow. Um, I'll do a water change. Uh, I did one last week. I'll do one this week. I will not do one next week. The week after, I'll probably do another one. And this is just to replace trace elements. Um, I don't have any type of GFO or anything like that. I change the socks. That's it. So it's kind of like a nutrient control. I've, I've been feeding about a cube a day to this tank heavy feeding that could be why the torch and everything is all pissed off the phosphate levels jump up nitrate levels who knows I did notice a dying or a dead hermit I need to pluck out of there um, anyways let's get to the unboxing 13 minutes in I appreciate it Pre uh, uh, I appreciate you guys being here if you're still here listening to me ramble Godzilla over there he's doing all right he's a uh, definitely a character um, kind of been a little brat as far as eating lately I guess he uh, prefers crickets and grasshoppers over mealworms and after I feed him all the crickets and grasshoppers what guess what I got left? I got mealworms and superworms. Well, he doesn't really prefer those too much. He actually likes salad as well, so which is kind of a trip because they're not really known to be salad eaters. I'll go ahead and put this tripod down. Yeah, I'll take the lens off. It's just so this is the Orphic. OR260, this is the 24 inch. The 24 inch uh, version. The tank that I'm going to be putting it over is 24 by 24 by 20 by 6. Uh, Reef Girl did an awesome review, I believe, on the 48 inch version of this light. Uh, So far, the packaging is pretty awesome. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek. Maybe we'll plug it in. Give you guys an idea what it looks like. We'll see how bright it is. Maybe I'll pull out a, a, 
regular reef right strip and plug that in. We'll kind of put them side by side to each other. Give you a quick comparison. But uh, I kind of want to pull this out to have an opening at Plus, I plan on painting the stand maybe sometime today or tomorrow. Possibly. I would like to, but honestly, I'm kind of procrastinating about it because I got to set up uh, the paint tarp down on the ground. I, I want to paint it in the house. I don't really feel like painting. I'm kind of lazy about it. <laughs> it needs to get done, but. Uh, I'm just not looking forward to it because I want to paint underneath the inside. Um, I need to put some kilts, uh, mold and water, whatever, on there before the initial paint. It's like a primer. And then I'm going to be using a uh, exterior door enamel paint for it. I want to paint it all black so it matches the other one. But at the same time, I kind of want to do maybe white on the inside with blue trim and then black sides I don't know um, let me know what you guys think think I should paint it black or you think I should go with a different color scheme I've often thought about doing like a silver with yellow inside I like the idea of underneath where the frag tank is to maybe have it white just to have it reflect some of these uh, morphic lights but uh, straight out the box See if you guys can see. Looks like a nice little power button. It's got like this little rubber gasket around there, which seems pretty cool. Keep the water out of there. Um, it looks like it has a power supply. Very well built. It's got some mounting clips. Different ways to mount it. Very small. I want to say it's probably about five inches long maybe about two and a half inches wide very cool all in all looks like I got about four feet of cord right here got probably an additional three feet right here it's got a disconnect right here so if I need to move the light for some reason I could move the light does not have a dimmer unfortunately but from my understanding they are coming out with dimmable drivers um, looks like they included a mounting kit which is amazing because I was thinking to myself how am I going to mount this my plan was to put some spacers underneath the sand I built over there and then just mount it underneath the inside cabinet the 2x6 that I have right here will kind of help uh, act as a, a, a canopy of some type to help prevent the spillage coming out of the stand. So we got the Reef and Art lens kit, got my shank, got a hanging kit, 40 watt dimmable driver or not a dimmable 40 watt LED driver there's a close up if you guys want some information on that this is the Orphic OR260's the 24 inch version so straight off the bat here's the heat sink on the back of the light looks like it's like an anodized blue ish color looks very nice let me put the tripod back down adjust it this would be a good time to have my kid come out and uh, hold the damn camera for me no negativity I'm just kidding so I'm pulling the light out now and I'm telling you this thing is twice as heavy as the reef bright 36 inch that I have this thing is beefy and I could tell you why right now. The heat sink on this, I mean, is it looks like a track system for a stand, like on Rico's aquarium, you know, the stand that his big old 500 gallon tank is, is on. That's what it looks like. One of those 
aluminum uh, type stand, or that's where the track, whatever the heck it's called. Uh, but anyways, this thing has got some weight to it. I mean, it's solid, it's beefy. Uh, but it is nice, the anodizing on the entire thing, I don't see any, I don't see anywhere where it didn't get anodized. Let's go ahead and look at the underside. So it does have the saran wrap on there to protect it. But look at those lenses. Look at those LEDs. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 LEDs on this strip. I put the camera down. Let me pull this uh, wrap off. Man, I like these things look nice, man. I'm gonna just order a couple more. So just, just off the look alone, man. Great job, fantastic work, man. Perfect. So far, I'm really impressed. And I haven't even plugged it in yet. I'm just basing my comparison. I've had the Reefrite XHOs. Unfortunately, I sold those. They were too long, and I wasn't using them. And I have the Reefrite, the non-XHOs, the, the silver housing ones. And I'm going to tell you right now, just, just the housing on this blows those away by far. I mean, this thing is its like a solid heat sink. So let's take a look. I got the Saran wrap off. You can see the... Focus. It's got a nice beefy uh, place where the cord mounts in. Look at this. This thing is heat sink on all three sides. It's anodized blue. Now look at this lens cover. It's like a quarter inch piece of acrylic. It runs the whole. Looks like it's got beveled edges. I mean, this thing is sharp. Woo! No, I'm just kidding. Don't get excited. But, I mean, there's a lens cover. I'm trying to give you guys, like, a different angle. There's kind of a glare. But this thing looks nice. So, this light is the Blue Plus version. Um, I don't believe he has a Blue Plus listed on his website. But... Uh, in order to get these lights, you need to contact them via email. I will try to find that email and post it in the description in this video. That way, if anybody needs to or wants to order a light or contact them about specifications uh, on anything about this light, they can do so as well as order one. But um, so far, this thing looks badass. Got a hanging kit, you got the light, got a cool little uh, on off switch, you got the driver for the LEDs, you got plenty of cord. Let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in and guess what? I got enough cord here, I don't have to move the light. I could reach it across four feet to my plug on my little uh, island in the kitchen. Excuse my house, it's a little bit dirty, busy week. And I apologize for the length of this video. Going through it as fast as I can. I know I ramble. Appreciate everybody being here, checking out the video, supporting me. Um, now's a good time to hit that like button if you have not. So, how am I going to do this? The driver's going to pull the light down. And smash the so I'll pull my chair back, put the driver on there. Go ahead, and I got a GFCI outlet. Yeah, put these on your tank, and when you go to work, they're gonna trip, and then your whole tank's gonna die. Whoo! Look at that. Plugged it in. Looked like it was already on. So right off the bat, I'm noticing this light and this light look like a green color. Let me turn off my kitchen light so it looks like it has two green LEDs look at the ceiling 
This is a 24 inch light. It's lighting up my whole kitchen. Let me put the lens on. See if we get a different look. I'm trying to look down at the light. And this thing is blinding me. I am seeing stars now. I am seeing LED lights. But, I mean, this thing is amazing. I want to say it has two... I'm blind again. Looks like it has two green lights. Possibly, right next to the green, a UV or a purplish light. And then the rest seem to be blue. All the LEDs seem to be working great. I don't see any burnt out. I'm not sure if these need to kind of ramp up. And once they're warmed up, you're going to get that full intensity from them or if they just come on full intensity right out the gate. You can kind of see the, the light spectrum. I don't know what that's called. The lumens or the whatever. The freaking, see the shininess, the sparklies coming up. This is a 24 inch. It's lighting up my ceiling. It's lighting up my kitchen. It's like a blue light special in here. Touching the light now. Putting my hand over it. I don't really feel too much heat. I don't feel any heat actually. But I'm sure once they're on for eight hours, there's gonna be some heat directed out of here. I wish uh, I was closer to my lagoon tank. But I'm lighting up uh, Godzilla over there. There's the lagoon. Just looking off the wall, I am seeing on the wall the shadow, some like disco ball shadow effect. Hopefully I don't get the disco ball effect in the tank. We'll have to see with the shimmer. But there is the Orphic OR260 24 inch blue plus light from Orphic. Got it plugged in and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my 36 inch non-XHO Blue Plus Reef Bright strip. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna compare it. It's a little bit longer, but I just wanna put them side by side, plug it in and we'll look at the light coming out. I know the Reef Bright does not have the green bulbs or the separate UV bulbs, but let me pause the video and pull that out and we'll see what they look like next to each other. All right, I'm back. So I'm back, pulled out the light, Here's the Refrite non-XHO, I believe it's a 90 watt, 36 inch, no 60 watt. Um, there's a power supply for it, Refrite. So this light is about 50% lighter, no shit, this is a 36 inch version, excuse me, I had, excuse the mess on my counter, but uh, this does not have the mount mount the hanging mounts on there they were taken off to use for another project unfortunately but this is a foot longer than the other strip this is a blue plus it has a heat sink on the back it has a really thin acrylic cover and you can see on the non xho it has three uh six pack strips so you got three here or six here six here and six here on the XHO, you get the full length of the light, which I believe are spaced out, you know, one to two inch, inch and a half apart. On the non-XHO, you just get three strips of six, but the reflectors on these lights is amazing. I mean, some of the best reflectors, I would compare them to the ATI reflectors. I am no reflector guru, but in order for me to plug this in, I had to put it on my kitchen counter because I have this thing all zip tied and ready to be sold. Dude, I'm at, for two of these, I'm asking for 50 bucks. I will not ship them. Just basically due to, I don't wanna deal with the shipping, the boxing, the person getting them and saying they were damaged in shipping. I'd rather a local, if you're a local San Diego, you see these lights, you see this video, you wanna buy them? I got two of these for 50 bucks, 36 inches. Great supplemental lighting. I use them on a 150 gallon cube along with two XHOs and an eight bulb ATI fixture through anything you want. 
But that's enough of my sales pitch. 50 bucks. You couldn't, can't shit them out for 50 bucks, dude. Come on now. Come get them. I'm not using them. Let's put them to use. Anyways, here's the Orphic in all its glory. This thing is bad. Dude, I love this thing already. It's not even on a tank yet. I haven't seen it in action. Just feeling it, seeing it, touching it. I'm going to tell you right now. The quality on this light, I mean, just the way it feels, the heat sink. This thing's got a heat sink all the way around. Whereas the Reef Bright only has a heat sink on the top. I mean, this thing, the lens cover, the acrylic cover over the lens. You kind of see here the blue, 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 purple, green. Oh, it's blue, 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 green, purple, blue, 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 green, purple, blue, blue, blue. But look at that thing. Anodized blue. It is pretty, it's heavy. I want to say it's probably two to three pounds just off my, uh, my butt scale, my hand scale. But anyways, let's uh, plug in this other reef right now this is a non-xho i'm not saying the orphic is the same comparable i think this light is comparable to the xho don't quote me on that just plugged in the reef right so this is the non-xho right off the bat looking at the ceiling you are definitely noticing the XHO over the Orphic. And what I mean by that is if I look, you see the, the beam on the ceiling, you can see it move. Now let's move the Orphic. I mean, you could see that one move too, but it's more of a focused beam. Whereas the Reef Bright is more of a wide, even color. Whereas the Orphic, it looks like it has like a hot spot in the middle. And it kind of doesn't seem blended as blended. But you can't knock Orphic for that because they included a green and a purple or UV light. Whereas the Reef Rites are just a solid blue. Here's my son coming in. The door, excuse the background noise. But if I had to compare them, I want to say... Maybe the lenses on the Orphic LEDs are just making them seem brighter, but they look the same spectrum. Just now that I'm blind. I mean, they're both, I'd buy them both, but just having had the Reef Rites and have used them, I'm 100% satisfied. I have not had the Orphic lights and having Pulled it out of the box, unpacked it for the first time, feeling it, seeing uh, the the quality of the build, the screw sets, the the driver. I mean, it it is exceptionally well built. It's a, I mean, it's beautiful. And the light's been plugged in now for about I don't know eight eight minutes, ten minutes or so. And I am feeling a little bit of heat. Very faint though. The driver is still tool to the touch. Um, I'm starting to feel the same amount of heat coming off the Reef Bright already. I mean, all in all, this is not my review of the light. This is just basically unboxing and showing you guys. I'm, I got two of these. I think I'm gonna get a couple more just to have them on hand. Um, I, I really like the, the build quality, the heat sink all the way around, the anodized blue. Just when I touch it compared to the Reef Bright, I feel like I just got my money's worth right there. I mean, for the price of the two, you can't go wrong. We'll see when it, when it comes to growing corals, but I've seen amazing reviews on these lights, and uh, we'll see. But... 
we'll go ahead and leave it at that 35 minutes in i appreciate everybody uh stopping by there's your weekly update I'm gonna paint the stand had a few issues with some corals so is are growing out doing great and uh the reefing art lens kit cool lens kit i like it i like the case orfic or260 24 inch blue plus light love it i just i haven't used it yet but just straight out the box the quality of it far exceeds reef right in my opinion hopefully we'll see the same uh once it's mounted over the tank frag tank stand it's going to be painted i need to get new drain lines i need to pull out the lagoon 25 get some silicone redo the inner seal and the acrylic overflow godzilla is doing great water change tomorrow using the waste away refresh uh, once a week man i am seeing like an orange spectrum just from staring into these lights uh cabinet it's great and I need to clean up my house, get back to work. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll try to put out another video next week. Uh, hopefully, I'll have the stand painted by then. Maybe I'll have the Orphic lights mounted up underneath. Give you guys an idea of the light spill with that 1x6 on the top there. I uh, need to make some water. Pest tank is doing great. Rock looks really clean in there, even though it's full of pest. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Hit that like button, please. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already.